Alright, what's up guys? It's Apollo here, and welcome back to Apollonia, our grand medieval settlement here. That is ever-growing, and we continue to expand and increase our income, and things are looking really promising. Now, I think right now, we are current, uh, currently constructing a sheep farm. Uh, which we will be able to get some nice wool from. Uh, we just finished our windmill, which is already uh, turning and creating some flour, which is great. And pretty soon we're going to be able to make a bakery. Now our biggest obstacle for making a bakery is that it is 300 gold, which is very, very expensive. Uh, so we're just going to have to save up our money. Once we get the bakery and then I think I will uh, start to build more um, more buildings like the manor. I think a lord manor would be good having that back. And because if you remember, we had to destroy that. We put in another warehouse so we could trade more uh, more resources. So yeah, things are looking pretty good here. So we'll go ahead do normal speed. Oh, a message from the kingdom. We are allowing you to establish an outpost on your ter- Or, we are allowing you to have an out outpost on your territory. Thus, you will be able to participate in military campaigns for your liege. It's a privilege. Don't forget about it. <laughs> yes. Alright. So now we have to build a wooden keep. That is awesome. So let's go and look where to build a wooden keep. It's only five gold. And, okay, where would the keep be? We need a good spot for the keep. Definitely somewhere high. I almost want to buy this territory because I would love to put the keep up here. But for now, I think, let me, let me go ahead and pause it. For now, I think I'm going to put it maybe over here. I mean, I would have put it here, but people put their houses there. So I can't, maybe behind the warehouse? I mean, that's not terrible, so this is pretty cool. We could put the keep right there. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad spot, not at all. And we can always move it, guys, or rebuild it. And let's build a wooden top. <laughs> let's see, we got different types of tops. Let me just see them all. Ooh, that one's lame. Let's do... This one looks kind of cool. And then door. Oh, wow. So, I have no idea what to expect from these military campaigns. Wait, is there... I kind of want the door here. Um, let me try to... Hmm. Maybe we have to turn the core around. Like that. And let's do the stairs, which, well, we have different doors. That looks pretty cool. Let's check out this door. Oh, this gives you a little bit of a, that's cool. I like that. Or we have this, which, eh. Let's go with door B. I think that one looks nice. You got a nice little protection from the shade. Also against enemy archer arrows and, you know, enemy fire coming down to protect you as you're running up into the keep. So we got a wooden gate. Is this decor? It needs to be built. So let's put the wooden gate. How far away can it be? I don't know. Let's put it like that. And a flag. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. Why is there a random gate? Hold on. Maybe put it, I guess, like this. I mean, I suppose you could put a gate and then a wall around it, which I think I'm going to do. So let's put that there. And then a flag. Can we put it on top here? No. <laughs> Can we put a flag... On the... No. Oh, wait. Yeah. Flag on the keep. A training dummy. <laughs> That's cool. 
Oh, here's the thing though. We need two fabric. <sighs> two fabric, huh? And the only way to make fabric is we need the sheep, which we're getting, and then I think we need a tailor. What is causing, is it this that's causing the fabric? Maybe it's the flag. We can add the flag later. But for now, let's get the keep. And we'll go ahead and press play. So there we have it, guys. Our keep that looks over our grand city is underway. And we will be able to defend the city. The people will have a place to go to, to run to. I think eventually we will build a fence around it. That's going to be cool. We need a tailor. I think that's going to be a, the big next step here. So, and let's make this forbidden land. This is for the keep. This is forbidden. Nobody can build there. Oh, the sheep farm is done. Now we just need someone to, well, farm the sheep. So that's done. That's a nice little, it's good to have the sheep close by near the keep, you know? The keep can protect it, can do, do all that good stuff. So, produces, wh what produce, okay, produces cloth for exchange. Okay, but it's 200, 200 gold, which we're actually really close to. And we can build this close to the farm, or close to the sheep farm. So we'll put it right in there. I think that that's pretty cool. Pretty nice spot. Look at this village, man. This is a really fun game. I love the art style. I love the music. And it's been nothing but fun. There's actually an update for the game when I first started it. I was a little worried that it was going to cancel the save we have here. But it actually turned out to just be, I guess, not too big of an update. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be able to make cloth now, which is great. Uh, so we're going to be able to add more decorations and everything like that. And how's the uh, the wheat farm going? Pretty good. Let's look at our villagers. Do we have anyone unemployed? We actually have quite a bit. Uh, do we have any spots open? Unfortunately, no. We don't have any spots. We do need to make a baker, though. We'll, we'll put the baker close to the city, too. See, no more, no more gathering food. We're actually going to be able to bake food. That's great. Uh, but we should wait until we get some... We're making great money. I think it's because of all the trading we've been doing. Resources-wise, food's not great. But everything else is pretty good. Um, you know what? Might have to lower the amount that we're trading away. To five planks. Just in case we're kind of needing them. For this, uh, this keep here that's watching over the city. And I love, I love how there's going to be, uh, this little building surrounded by trees. It's pretty cool. It's quite the uh, trip to get some clothes. It'd be nice to live in a village like this, you know? Go back in time. I mean, the medicine sucked back then, you know, the healthcare. Um... Life was probably pretty hard, hard work, but just for like a week, you know, and you don't have to do anything. You could just be the new guy in town, which probably would be bad, but <laughs> yeah, I thought, I think that would be pretty cool to just visit, visit a medieval town. I mean, Kingdom Come Deliverance does a pretty good job, but of course that's a video game. It'll never feel like the real thing. So money's doing well. I think we just have to wait. And again, we are going to build a bakery. Bakery. We just have to wait a little bit. And produces bread for exchange of water and flour. Which we are getting plenty of flour here. Look at it. It's even spinning. This is a true town. Worthy of any town. Also, we should look into... A coal hut... Produces tools in exchange of coal and iron. A blacksmith. Ah. Produces iron for the exchange of coal and what is that? Two new villagers are joining the village. Excellent. We could definitely need more people to join the ranks. 
Okay, so unfortunately we lost a good amount of money. If we look at our budget here, we're not making that much cash. Hmm. I really want to make that baker. What we could do is build a market. Because we have our market here. And I wonder if cloth... What is goods? What is considered goods? We're losing even more money. So I want to I wanna add another market. Because currently we have a food market. But maybe we can get a goods market. Or a luxury market. But luxury, I mean... That would be considered t-shirts. Like, like clothing, I assume. So let's just fast forward a little bit. Uh, as it seems that we can't quite get anything built just yet. Money's going up. That's great. We really need to get the new villagers working. You know what? We can assign another villager as a builder. Henry? Henry! Uh, you will be a builder. Oh, new tier. We need 20 splendor, though. We need to increase our splendor. This is almost complete. Our, uh... Weaver hut. And then we can assign someone a job to do that. So as our village grows, this will get more complicated. Nice. We got two people working there. So soon we should be producing cloth. Which I, I don't see up here. Maybe we have to produce it first. And this is... Oh, it's getting there. It's almost done. How many carpenters do we have? We've got the full amount of carpenters. I think it's because we don't have a, planks, a lot of planks because we're selling them. Ah, we have 200 gold. So we just need one more hundred of gold. And then we can build... Some... A bakery. Those are two soldiers hard at work. Monitoring the streets, making sure no one's out of line. Are these new villagers? It looks like they plant planted more crop down, which is great. We're going to need it. The windmill is uh, out of wheat, unfortunately. We might even have to build another wheat farm somewhere. Hmm. There's a lot of trees around here. A lot of trees. Two more villagers. Alright, let's slow it down a little bit. Ah, unfortunately we were just short. Uh, it looks like we lost some money there. As we were paying for taxes or whatever it may be. As soon as we're finished building this wooden keep, I'm going to sell more planks. Let's make this a high priority. Everything else has been built, though, if I'm not mistaken. And why? Oh, spawn sheep. Come on, don't abuse. <laughs> I didn't know I had to spawn the sheep. There they are, cute little sheep. I thought they would just, I thought they would automatically would, uh, s would, you know, arrive on their own, but... We have sheep now. I assume we have to wait for them. That's alright. Hopefully they're not, that didn't cost money. And we almost have enough here. As soon as this hits 300, we are going to build a bakery. And we're going to put it over near town. Right here. Ah, oh, come on. We just got to be patient, guys. We'll go ahead and fast forward again. We're at 250. Let's get those baked goods. This town needs some baked goods. The town's going to be so much happier with uh, bread. I mean, who doesn't love bread? Oh, it's so close. No! Dang it. 
Alright. Just gotta save my money. It'll be worth it. It'll, com it'll completely be worth it. Okay, it's almost there. 293 out of... Well, remember, we need 300 gold. Boom. Alright, I'm gonna pause it here and we're gonna build our bakery. Bakery will go right here. Right next to the market. Mm. Maybe. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go back to normal speed. Beautiful. So the bakery is on its way. And the sheep are already getting fluffy. Look at this guy. Oh, they slide around. They don't even walk properly. <laughs> Fantastic. And they're already producing wool. Which I think this guy is already grabbing. Yep. Turning it into cloth. The bakery is being built. The keep is close. Waiting for a builder. I don't know why this is taking so long. I'm kind of, where are my builders? What is your job? We might have to build another church, as the capacity is full. Hmm. We could build another church down here. This looks like another great small community. Another church there? What do you guys think, yeah? Two churches? Just for more worshipping? I'm so excited for this bakery. We're going to unlock another trade route. That's going to be huge. And look, we already have three cloth. My concern, though, is... Why do we have a builder here, but nobody building over here? We have tools, they just have to grab them from here. Are you a builder? No, you're a transporter. Hmm. Because I really want that keep done. As it will bring not only defense to our people, but... But yeah, I, d I think we need another church. Oh, there's no priest? How do I get a priest? Hmm. Windmill, bakery, sheep farm, weaver's hut, tailor's workshop. That, you know, a tailor's workshop only costs 50 gold. We should build that. I'm not going to build anything else until we get this keep done. And look how big, look at it's booming, guys. There's so many people here. Alright, let's fast forward. Fast forward as we save our money. So yeah, next we'll build a tailor shop. Which is pretty affordable. Nice, get that wool. My lord, we need to choose what we want to help. Well, let's help. Let's help the kingdom. What do we need? Five bread? Okay, let's help the king again. We're going to help the king because he's behind a little bit in points. So what we need to do is buy five bread. And I want to buy, and we will make this bread, and there we have it. Soon we'll have five bread. Man, why is building so slow? I'm curious. Where are all my builders? What are you doing? Why are you in there? 
Oh, getting planks, I see. And what are you doing with the planks? You're going to build. But why is it taking so long to build this? Uh, the amount of people joining, uh, I just, I'm not creating enough jobs. One, two, three, four, five people unemployed, plus two more. Do we have bread yet? No, we don't have the bread. We, we're waiting for the trader. And once again, we're going to fast forward a little bit here. And wait for the trader to show up with our five bread, which we're going to give to the king. We're still waiting for this to be built. Uh, which is almost done. Our planks are doing fine. Uh, it looks like they're waiting for more tools, but we've got tools in here. Empty the stock. Use them. Use the tools, guys. Because remember, they can use the tools. But they're not. Oh, there we go. Ah, excellent. We've given bread to the king. Now, we could easily buy 10 bread un and unlock a new trade route. Uh, so let, once again, let's slow this down and kind of look at this. This trade route right here, we can unlock the trade route for 20 bread. And they're selling coal, iron, and glass. And they're buying wool, common clothes, and herbs. So we could sell common clothes. We just need to get some buildings done here. So they're just waiting on the tools, but... Oh, finally they're taking the tools. Why aren't they building this keep, though? That's right. Let them make the bakery first. And then we need another church, because not everybody's getting their worship on. This is too small of a church. Oh, could I make it bigger? That's a wooden extension. Oh, I can make it bigger. And by making it bitter, bigger, it would add, let's see. How much does this add? They both add five. Okay, so two, we could put two extensions. We could put an extension there. That would fit more people. It's not gonna be pretty, but should be cheaper. Okay, let's add some extensions. That is ugly. Nah, let's let's not do that. It's it's killing my OCD. You know, I can't do that. I think I'm just gonna build another church. Maybe we could add one extension. I mean this is more of attractive well. I don't know guys. That doesn't... We'll add one extension there. One little extension. Okay. So that should add in five, five more people. Which is not a ton, but it's better than nothing. And we'll build a church down here. Once we complete some items. You know what? Let's increase the amount of tools we're willing to buy. Because it seems like we need more tools. Let's buy 20 of them. It's going to be expensive, but we need it for this keep, which is on hold. 
Even though I pri- Like, this is a priority. It's so close to being done. They just need to build it. But instead, they're focusing on the, on the bakery. I could pause it, but we're so close to the bakery, we should just finish a building here. What do we get for building? We get plus 10 for the king. Two new villagers. Oh, boy. Can we please build this? So we can get some bread. There we go. Finally, they're going to build it. All right. About time. Come on. You got all the supplies. And they should be going back to build. Did they add this? Okay, they're building this. They need to finish this keep. And there you have it. It has been built. And we will soon be making bread. Two bakers, please. And I wonder if we could put bread in here for him to sell. As bread might make more money than just berries. And that could help generate more income. So that's done. This will be close to done. Hopefully. As there's nothing else to be built except for this extension. Which is almost done. Ah, they need tools. Can we build this keep, please? How much cloth? Oh, man, he's making plenty of cloth. So you know what that means. As soon as we build the keep, we're going to build the tailor. We'll, we'll put it right here. I want to make space for the market. Let's slow it down, though. Nice. Overall happiness, 77. Villagers, 17 villagers are lacking religion, which is causing some unhappiness. There we go. We got a little extra space. Five more people can fit in there. 30 people can fit in there. Oh, boy. We need a couple more churches. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we could definitely build a church down here. Again, I want to wait until we finish the keep. Waiting for builder. What are you waiting for? Uh-oh, we're negative. Okay. We're going to go back to trade, and we are going to lower the amount of tools we need back to 10. What else are we buying? Oh, no more bread. We don't need any more bread. We've been buying bread. I forgot to turn that off. Well, we got 17 bread, which can we use to unlock the trade? We need 20. Well, that's... Let's see, are they making it? Yeah, they're making bread! Yes! Look at them go! Still, nobody is building here. Why? There's nothing else. Why aren't they building this? Build the keep, guys! I don't understand. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right, let's slow it down. We can unlock a new trade route. And I'm going to sell clothes for 10 gold. And that's the next thing we need to build. But I don't know why they're not building this. Waiting for a builder. Well, let's go. Can we... Can you go build? You're just in your house. Go build! Our happiness is going down. One villager lacking food? Oh no! Maybe we should make another food market? That sells bread? Let's see. Let's build another food market. Or is there a way we can expand upon this? 
Wait, I think we're gonna need two. Let's see. Market. Food. Put that there. Now let's do a tent. A green tent. And start construction. And then we'll we'll give someone a, a job to to get bread for it. Because we're we're gonna be producing bread pretty quickly here, I think. As long as we can keep up with the flour, I think it's gonna be good. Excellent. I'm confused why they're not building here. Are they going to build there? They should build a market, at least. The market is... Well, I'm pretty sure we can sell bread. It... In the other trade route, are they looking for bread? No. They're selling bread. They're not looking to buy it. The builders are building this. But they're not building the keep. Why? Do we have... We have planks. All right, let's stop selling planks, maybe? Maybe that's it. Let's turn off the planks. Just no more planks. Another house has been built. Our village is growing ever stronger. But at the same time, we're having difficulties. We're going to be able to give someone a job once they finish this. Waiting for a builder. There we go. Another food market complete. And we're gonna sell fish. Do we have fish? We're gonna sell bread there. So now you can buy bread. Delicious bread. And also to boost our economy, we are going to build a tailor's workshop. We'll put that, um, we'll put it close to the, um, bakery. My question though, <laughs> again, why isn't anyone building here? These are troubling times. And we're going to pause this construction. And we'll fast forward. Like, are people lost? Maybe they don't know how to get there. Maybe this is a glitch. Because I have the tools. I have the planks. But they're not building. So let's try to do this again. I'm going to destroy this. Which really sucks. But let's pause it. Let's rebuild it. And see if they're going to build it. So, let's get our wooden keep. Core structure. Again, we'll put it maybe a little bit further back. Like so. Let's get... This. And then we want B. This looks so cool. And then wooden gates, we'll put right there. And start construction. Waiting for a builder. Let's see if someone finds it. Is it like too far away? What in the world? 
They're building this even though I put this on pause. Now nobody's building it. <laughs> I've got plenty of tools. Maybe I don't have all the planks, but we will eventually have enough planks. Nobody's coming up here to build the keep. Hey, pa this is going up. One villager lacking food. Who's lacking food? Are people buying bread? Excellent. Bread's being... Bread is bringing in a lot of money. Holy crap. Bread is great. Holy crap. We should have built that earlier. Look at all the money. But still no keep. Still no keep. Provides defense to the village. Oh, of course. Of course there's no keep. That is just weird. Oh, you know why? I bet it's because of this. Forbidden land. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Watch, they'll start building. I'm so stupid. I thought that just meant... And yep, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I just want to go ahead and apologize for that. As I'm sure half of the viewers are screaming at me right now. Being like, well, Apollo, you dummy. You made it forbidden to walk over there. I just meant that as in like, nobody can build there. But they won't build there unless you put a residential. I don't know. I was just trying to be cool about it. Like, this is the keep. This is important. Keep stuff. Well, what can you do? We have so much money now. We can no longer make any more money. Let's go ahead and unpause this. Let's build a manor. And we should build it quick. Uh, what do we need? Bread? Of course we need bread. Uh, let's help the clergy. Do we not have five bread? Uh. Uh, let's just trade for bread then. We are producing bread, but I'm selling it to my own people, so we'll just trade for bread. Okay, the keep's gonna be built. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so stupid. I swear. Okay, let's build a Lord's Manor, which will increase, and we'll put this over here by the church. This will increase um, the amount of money we can make. This is the door. Small treasury. And a tower. There we go. If we add another treasury... Does that increase the amount of money we can make? I don't know. Let's start construction, though. Because we need... We desperately need to uh, start saving more money. Since we're maxed out at 500. And I guess while we wait... We will fast forward. We got plenty of workers... I think we need another carpenter. Maybe more woodcutters. Let's slow it down. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, everyone's full here. So we probably need another woodcutter. And we can put that right here. So let's do that. And then we can get more wood cutters. Because right now we're not producing enough wood. Our wood is kind of low. 
so a lumber camp. Build that. Nice. Come on, build it faster. And once the lumber camp is done, ah, this is done. All right, we have a we have a tailor now, who will be making clothes. Hey, where's the? We need bread. We need bread, dang it. Oh, here we go. There we go. More workers cutting the wood. We need it in our reserve. We have nine days. Nine days to get this bread. This is near completion. We just need a couple more planks. We're using up the planks quickly. Got another builder over here. And our village is getting pretty mighty. Look at this village. It's beautiful. This is a really fun game. Taylor has already made 18 t-shirts. Wow. We'll slow this down. Where is our bread? Anybody know where the bread is? Ah, there we go. Oof. All right, and then let's not trade for bread anymore. We are actually going to... Wait, do we have two food slots? We're going to remove this one and make this a t-shirt place. Put our t-shirts in there. And we're going to sell our t-shirts for some moolah. Let's sell uh let's sell 5 for now. Cuz we have a lot of t-shirts. Soon. She's just gotta she's just gotta store it over there. And how's the wood cutting going? Hopefully well. We might have to make another carpenter's sawmill. Which I think I'm gonna go ahead and do because planks are really important. We'll put the other sawmill over this way. Sawmill. We'll put that right there. Get building, get building. We have plenty of workers. In fact, yeah, oh my god, so many people are still unemployed. We are seeing a boom in the village. You know, we could buy this land up here and put the keep up there. That would be really cool, but we're about to put the keep here, so. But this would be some nice high ground territory. 500. We'll add to your royal taxes 50. Oof. How's this? Abandoned? No, cancel. This is. Ah, we just need more planks. Yeah, we're just not producing enough planks. Are we still selling planks? I don't think so. I think I turned that off. Yeah. We're not selling any more planks, so we'll say no trade. We could buy more planks. Let's make this a priority. Let's pause. We're going to pause construction. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Pause that there and pause this one because we just need more planks and this is taking forever. 
And then let's fast forward until we get this complete. And then we'll give more jobs to carpenters. And then we'll start making more planks. Because we're, we're hurting ourselves by not getting more money in. Increasing the amount we can save. But that's good. Four villagers are lacking food. Really? We need to, uh, maybe make another bakery. We're having a tough time keeping up with the demands. We might have to buy food. <laughs> as crazy as that is. Let's look at the trade. Who's selling food? Well, we could buy bread, but it's very expensive. Fish, but that's expensive as well. Anybody selling cheap food? Oh, no. Nobody's selling cheap food, so... Is there another food source? Like, is there more... Oh, here we go. No. Dang. We might have to buy more territory? That has more food. Does this place have food? No. We might buy this tile over here. Get the food. Harvest more food. I think I'm going to do that. Are we still building this? Dang. Yeah, I never thought food would go short like this. I'm trying to see if there's any other nearby t tiles that we can get. Alright, let's pause it here. We're going to buy our first territory. Boom. Just like that. And let's build a gathering place. A gathering hut. And gather more food. Oh, we don't have enough money. Okay. So we'll press play. And that should help a little bit with our food shortages. And our village is much larger. What's going on with the bread? Are we still making bread? Yes. They need more flour, which... This has plenty of flour. But they're grabbing it right now. Can you please hurry up and make this sawmill? We have people who need jobs. And we have a demand of food. We have to start eating those sheep. Which is not good. There we go. There's some jobs. Okay, now we can go ahead and unpause. God, I just want this keep done. And we should be making more planks. And we have enough money already. Our money's doing well, our food is not. Do a gathering hut. All the way up there. This would be a good spot for the keep. Right up here. But we picked our spot. Two villagers are joining your village. Excellent. We need to build another church down here. This needs to be complete. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's keep pausing this. We want this complete first because that will increase the amount of money we can make. Have we been able to unlock anything? No. Unlock wooden wall. There we go. We can get a wooden wall now. Oh, this is almost done. Let's keep building this then. This has enough supplies. We can finish this. See, 30 out of 30. We have 40 shirts, 19 bread. Food should be going up as soon as we build this. Builders over there already building it. And we still have plenty of trees. Our foresters done great work of replanting trees here for a, for a source. We have more stone here. That's good. Not that we really need stone. Yes, the keep is done. 
kingdom has noticed your keep and might call on to your military call on you in a military campaign. Uh, then okay, hold on, hold on. We need troops. So what does this do? Oh, we oh. There we go. We have ten soldiers. Let's edit this. How do we build a wall? No. I want to build a wall. I thought we unlocked it. Unlock large stone wall. Who builds the wall? A road sign? <laughs> That's kind of cool. Put a road sign down here. <laughs> this you gotta make it look nice, right? But yeah, I don't see where you would build a wall. But so, how many villagers do we have that need jobs? Nobody. Everybody needs jobs. My workplace is full. Hmm. Look at all the soldiers we have. Look at them. Beautiful. Let's see what else. Can we build anything with stone? I wanted to build a stone wall, but that would help with the stone problem. You know, let's build a church. Another church down here. Like so. <laughs> that looks bad. I'm gonna make this a big old church. It might not be a gorgeous church, but... It's going to fit a lot of freaking people. Look at that. That's a monster of a church. Do I have to build a tower? Let's go ahead and put this as the front door. I guess we do have to have a tower. Dang it. Alright, we're gonna have to remove... We'll just remove this one. Let's make it stone. This is a nicer church. We need more planks. Are we still struggling with planks? There we go. Another church being built. Is the manor done yet? Oh my goodness. This requires a lot of planks to build this manor. Our <laughs> soldiers. A lot of our soldiers are women. Which is interesting. Might have to build another warehouse. Has this been built? Um, dang it, we need more workers. Okay, so who's... Are stone cutters? Let's, um, get rid of three stone cutters because we don't need them and assign them to this to harvest more food. Beautiful, beautiful town. Are we making money off of our shirts? Oh, let's sell more shirts. sell 10 of them. Two new villagers. We built our road sign. Hmm. 
That's cool. The road sign is good. And... Yeah, it's looking really good here, guys. I can't believe an hour is over already. Ah, uh, I'm having too much fun with this. I think next episode, we are going to... Let's see, let's, can we build an arch here? There, ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? But yeah, next episode, we are going to keep making sure we're managing our resources because food is sheep farm. Hey, are you full? Or you know what? We probably need to... Let's just pause it here. Probably need to build another warehouse somewhere and uh, manage our resources a little bit, build this church, and continue ex to expand our village here. It's definitely gotten more difficult the more we grow but that's okay we're doing all right we've got a lot of territory we can expand to and uh yeah i'm pretty excited for this so that's gonna wrap it up for today guys thank you so much for joining me on our beautiful medieval village apollonia and this will continue for sure thank you guys and i will see you next time <laughs>